Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to make beef stew over the campfire. We've got a nice set of coals right here. We're going to use our Dutch oven and we're going to put that right on top. We're going to warm it up. So what we're going to do is just sear the beef and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients as we go. Okay, so with our Dutch oven nice and hot, we're going to brown the meat that's going in our beef stew. So we have some cubed beef here. This happens to be sirloin steak. So Brian, what are you doing right now? So right now I'm just browning that, the cubes of steak right now, just a little bit. Well, you don't need much uh, right now at this point, just a little bit to sear them just a tiny bit on the outside. The rest of the meat will actually cook um, and simmer in the pot itself when you put the rest of the ingredients in. So how long am I, are you going to brown this meat for? Uh, probably about two minutes tops if your pan's nice and hot, three or four if it's only kind of a medium heat. So with our chunks of beef just barely browned on the outside, this is a perfect time to start adding the, the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to start with the broth. It didn't quite fully thaw from last night, so there's a little bit of ice in this one as well. And we're just going to pour this right in. It will melt very quickly. We're going to add some other water with this a little bit later, but let's add some of our other ingredients as well. So. We've got black beans to go in this one. So we've got a can of black beans rinsed and uh, drained. So we're just gonna add those right in there. We've also got some corn. We're gonna be adding some corn to this one as well. So rinsed and drained, peaches and cream corn. We have potatoes coming up next. These are cut little gem potatoes, just cut in half. You don't need them any smaller than that. Next, we have carrots. Thank you. We we'll add this to the pot as well. We just cut these into smaller bits because they'll cook nicely that way. Now, we're gonna add a little bit of spice to this right about now. So this is, happens to be a Montreal steak spice. And we're just gonna add a little bit of this to the pot. It'll add some nice pepperiness, some salt, and a few other flavors. That's about all we need for now. So at this point, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water here, just to bring it up, just to almost close to covering the vegetables. Now, there is going to be a nice full pot of stew coming up. Now in this case as well, it may be a little bit runny. So what you can do to thicken your stew up is we can use a little bit of flour. So we've just got a little bit of flour here in a container and we can just add, a, just start with a spoonful first or two and I might do one and a half for now. And we'll stir this in and see how thick it gets. We can add a little bit more along the way as we go. So Brian, how many people will this fill, uh, feed? Oh, this will easily feed eight people this pot. This is a um, 10 inch Cabela's pot or 25 centimeter Dutch oven. Um, and um, basically this will um, feed just about eight people solid without having to stretch anything. How long are we going to cook this? We'll check it every 10 minutes, but this should take, if you've got a nice hot fire underneath it, at least half an hour. Because you want to stew all the ingredients together. You want to basically let all the um, ingredients get to uh, have all their flavors come out in the pot. 
Looks good. I'm looking forward <laughs> to dinner tonight. <laughs> So you just want to check it about every 10 minutes. However, this is probably going to take you at least 30 minutes to cook, even if you didn't have a little bit of cold products going into it. Looks really nice already, but I might even choose to thicken it up a little bit with just a little more flour into the mix. We're about 15 minutes into this cooking, so we're gonna have to load a little more wood onto the fire. As you can see, the coals are still there. They're nice and hot, but I'm gonna line some wood around the edge of the fire. It's been about another 15 minutes. Let's check and see how it looks. Ooh, wow, is it ever bubbling? Yeah, let's give that another stir. Oh yeah, it's all looking pretty nice. We're just gonna wait for this one to thicken up, maybe reduce a little bit. Yeah, it looks great. So can anyone make this? Well, you can make it at home, you can make it at, while you're camping, you can bring it on a, anywhere you have a fire or a stove. Yeah, it's pretty easy to make. You just basically put in any ingredients you want in the pot to make a nice stew. So at this point, we're about 40 minutes into cooking. We've checked it about three times now, so everything else in the pot looks like it's coming along just great. Everything's just about done. The potatoes are even almost done. At this point, all I'm gonna do is add one more spice to this one and we're gonna thicken it up maybe just a tiny bit more with a little bit of flour. So the other spice we're gonna to add to here is just a tiny bit of barbecue sauce. I'm not gonna add a whole lot. This will add a little bit of smoke and a little bit of flavor and a little bit of sweetness to them there as well. This should incorporate just nicely with a stew. So we're gonna check it now. The total elapsed time is about 45 minutes for this one. Still bubbling away quite nicely. Oh, it's looking pretty nice. And it's thickened up quite well. So in the end, what I did end up doing was adding an extra spoon and a half worth of flour just to, to thicken it up there. Looks great. Okay, now that the stew is done, we're just gonna scoop it into the bowl and we're gonna test out how well it tastes. Nice and hot, that's for sure. Let's check and see how this tastes. It certainly smells delicious. Oh, that is great. It is amazing, thank you. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave your comments below. And of course, subscribe to the video. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as well to get notifications every time we post a new video. Camp in Harmony, everyone. We're on our way to Glacier National Park. We're going to do the going to the sun road. Thank <laughs> you.